Here's a question. How do you make anchored objects with text wrap wrap the text on the line to which the object is anchored? The answer is you can't. Here, I've got this little text frame here. And you can see on the text wrap panel, I've got an eighth of an inch wrap all the way around. And it wraps the text as I move it around. All except the line to which it's anchored. And you can see the anchor here, the little yen symbol, connected to the frame by this dashed line. Now, that's not the whole story though. The story is you just can't. You cannot wrap text on the same line as the anchor. However, there's a workaround. That's not the whole story. There's a workaround you can do. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna switch to the type tool and I'm gonna click inside the frame here. Then I'm gonna go to edit, edit and story editor. And I'll scroll up just a bit here. Now you can do this on the layout. I just prefer doing it story editor because then I can see nice big anchor icon. That's my object. So I'm gonna go up to this paragraph and hit enter or return. That creates an extra paragraph there. I'm gonna highlight the anchor and drag it up to that extra paragraph. So now, as you can see over here, let me close story editor. The frame wraps all of that paragraph. Why? Because it's no longer part of the paragraph. If I move it out of the way, you can see the dashed line. That's only half a solution though, because right now we're left with this gaping hole here. Let's fix it. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go back to story editor because again, I find this easier. Edit story editor, scroll up. Now highlight the entire line, including the hard return, the pill crow there. And then let's open up the character panel. And let's set the size to 0 0.1 points and the letting to 0 0.1 points. And then let's open up type and tables, paragraph. And yep, we have a space after, so let's set that to zero. And then when we close those and exit story editor, we now have an imperceptibly tall line above this paragraph with the frame anchor to it. So now it looks like the frame is anchored in this paragraph and it wraps every line of the paragraph. Now there's one other thing you should do just for safety. You should put your cursor in that paragraph, go to window, styles, paragraph styles, create a new style, anchor paragraph or anchor line, and preferably spell it correctly. And over here on the left under keep options, keep with next one line, okay? So that will make sure that that paragraph will follow that paragraph that has the anchor in it will always follow the next line, the next paragraph's line. And that means you will never wind up with your anchored object floating on one page or column or the text that's supposed to wrap around it on the next page or column.